Bob's Barn Workshop here. Greetings, Merry Christmas. Yes, it's that time of year. The decorations are up. It is time to cook up some fabulous wild game feasts because that's what's uh, it's hunting season this time of year. So what we've got here, we have got one squirrel and two rabbits that have been cut up. Now you can see the the whole backbone here and you can see the thighs and four legs in here so what we're going to do is we're going to put them in the crock pot with a bunch of onion sweet baby rays salt pepper maybe a little liquid smoke maybe a little minced garlic and we're going to let them cook all afternoon and then for dinner tonight we will have a wild game feast Stick around and watch the fun. Alrighty, so I have the two rabbit pieces uh, in here. Apparently the guys I hunted with last year did not save the four legs, and that's okay. So I've got four hind legs, and I've got the two backs, full backs. That'll be <laughs> enough for a couple of meals for me for sure. What I'm going to do is I am going to salt these, not too much. because it will draw the moisture out. And I'm going to throw a little pepper in here. And I'm going to chop up and throw on some minced garlic. So let's do that. So my favorite way to do an onion for something like this. Oh, i got skin on my I've already skinned them. And I've cut the tips off so that the rings are all exposed. When I'm doing something like a rabbit or something like this, I just sliver them lengthwise and as they cook they will separate into wedges. You know, pretty simple. Nothing complex here. So what I got here is, hmm, Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue. That sounds good. Now I put a couple of globs of uh, minced garlic, you can see, from one of the squirt bottles. Mama wants to get, we had these up to the lake, and she wants to get rid of this. We have excessive amounts of Sweet Baby Ray's around here. So I'm, I'm doing my best to make her happy, see. Now what I'm going to do... I'm going to put a little water in there and uh, slush this out. Alright, so we're finishing with the barbecue sauce, getting it all out. A little bit of liquid in there will help anyway. And that's it. I used to do a lot of different stuff with rabbits and squirrels. I'd cut up onions and vinegar and salt and I'd marinate them overnight and all that stuff. And I found out that with a method like this, you just don't need to do anything like that. So, we are just going to put it in the crock pot over here. And in about six hours, it'll be done. Well, fans, yes, it's been in the crock pot for six hours now. I'm going to have a little bit of homemade uh, pasta sauce that my wife and I made last, or this fall. September, I guess. The rabbits look uh, delish. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a side of the spaghetti. My wife's just eating the spaghetti, and I'm going to have a side of the rabbit. She's skipping the rabbit, which is her choice. But we'll come back when I serve so it up. So sorry, guys. I didn't really film the uh, <clears throat> serving of this, but I want to show you something. This is the whole back here. And it's just flaking off. And delicious. Of course, this is the tenderloins. And my cat thinks she wants some. You hear her? What do you guys want? Yeah, we have three. Anyway, so it turned out delicious. The side spaghetti was nice. And uh, I just put on a little more Sweet Baby's Ray and... That was it. So God bless. Take care. We'll see you. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas.